Hi guys, Chef Kevin Belton here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Now, you know, one of the things that was always on the table growing up when I was a little kid was rice. Doesn't matter what we're served for dinner, mom always had a pot of rice on the stove. So that meant there was a lot of rice left over. Now, grandmother used to make rice pudding and there's all different things you can do with rice, okay? Leftover rice. One of the things they used to make was kala. Think of a fried beignet, but think of it done with rice. Well, today I'm gonna do a spicy shrimp fried rice for you, okay? Now, I have my shrimp already peeled. What I have here for seasoning, I have smoked paprika. I have a little chili powder, garlic powder, salt, a little bit of our Creole seasoning, and white pepper. Now I'm just gonna give this a little shake, toss this onto our shrimp, and we'll give that a, a nice little stir. Okay, just to get our shrimp coated. Now, I've had my pan on, and I'm going to turn it back up. I had it warm. Now I've turned it up on high, okay? Because that's one of the things about wok cooking. It usually goes fairly quick. And you know, and if you don't have a wok, you can always do this in a non-stick skillet, or if you want a, a cast iron skillet, if you like. So our hot wok, our wok is hot. A little sesame oil. Now, if you love sesame seeds, the sesame oil has a great flavor. And one of the things about sesame oil, you don't need a lot of it. So I'm just gonna use about a tablespoonful, get it around in there, and into that, I'm gonna throw in some onion, and I have a little green onion, but notice I have the bottom, okay? I'm using the bottom, the white part, with a little red pepper flake. Now I'm gonna get this started right quick. And you know, that's the great thing about wok cooking. It cooks fairly easy and fairly quick because the pan is really hot. Um, this wok I'm using is made for an electric stove. You know, the woks have this shape because the gas can come up all around the sides of the pan and get it really, really hot, okay? That's why a wok has that shape that it does. Now, here, let's go ahead and get our shrimp in. We'll get our seasoned shrimp in. And that's the thing about shrimp, gang. Shrimp don't take very long to cook. You're gonna see them start to get translucent. They'll start to turn pink. And you notice, I'm not gonna stir them. I'm gonna let them sit for a while. Now, I'm using shrimp. We could do this with, if you want other seafood, you could do it with scallops if you want. How about trying this with some crab meat, okay? Now, if you've ever had the, the, the ordered fried rice, you might have pork fried rice, you could have chicken fried rice, you might have a combination fried rice. Any combination that you like. This might be a shock to you. I even do it sometimes with tofu. I like tofu. Tofu's not bad, all right? So you see how sh quick our shrimp are cooking? Just turning them over. And I think there's one left right here. But that's one of the worst things you can do is overcook seafood, all right? Especially shrimp. Now. We're, like I said, we're using shrimp, we can do pork, we can do chicken, but also, if you're a vegetarian, you could do this with just vegetables, and it would work fine, all right? Now, what I did earlier, right before I started, I scrambled a little bit of an egg, all right? So I'm gonna get that egg in, and I'm gonna get it broken up in with our shrimp, and I'm gonna make a little room to the side and I'm gonna get some of our rice in. Now, I'm gonna push my rice down and I don't wanna to touch it. Now, I'm gonna to try not to touch it for a couple of minutes. I, I, it, it's, you know it's not gonna last that long. I'm not gonna be able to not touch this for a couple of minutes. But the whole idea about not touching the rice is sometimes you want that rice to have a little crunchiness, okay? There is a way when I make jambalaya that I can make it have a little, that bottom of the rice on the bottom of the pan has a little bit of a crunch to it. 
it's not burnt, but just that little bit of a crunch to it. Oh, God, it's such a wonderful, wonderful flavor. So here, soy sauce and a little fish sauce. So we'll get our soy sauce, our fish sauce in. Let's stir this. A little bit of green onion. Remember, we used the whites earlier. Let's use the others, the, the tops now. And just look how this is coming together. Doesn't that just look great? And this is a great use for leftover rice. And you could do this with white rice, you could do it with brown rice, any rice that you happen to have. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and spoon some into our bowl. Get a couple of shrimp in here. Look how quick, nice and easy this is. Oh, look, let's get a little bit of that egg on there. Now, move this off the fire. Garnish this with a little more green onion, just to top it off a little green onion. And there we have a nice spicy shrimp fried rice, okay? Now remember, I use a little bit of white pepper and some red pepper flakes. If you wanna increase the heat, use more red pepper flakes. But try this recipe. It is so good and try it with different things and you can make your own stir fried rice at home. All right. Keep washing those hands. Keep saying safe. Thank you for cooking with me today for WWL TV. I'm Chef Kevin Belton and we will see you soon.